Good morning. How is everyone? Of course, it may not be morning. I keep saying these things. This is why people say if you go live on Facebook and then you want to throw it over on YouTube that there could be issues. But I think, I think, hi Barbara, I think people are cool with that. If you find these videos and you say, wow, a chance to work with a trainer and get in great shape and you commit to two to three workouts with me, Cam Parker, I'm a certified personal trainer with over three decades of experience uh, for beginners and seniors and but if you're someone that just wants to get fit and you're pretty fit but you're bored with your ongoing same listen to the same video and over and over you have unique powerfully fun fitness videos available from Cam Parker now Kamala Parker on YouTube is my YouTube channel K-A-M-A-L-A -A -A Parker there's over 30 hours of training there but if you're here live on Facebook, the beauty is you're watching this. It's happening live. Yes. And the beauty of watching it on a recording is you're watching a recording. Hey, that's great. Um, I, I'm, you're still getting ready? Good. I am too. So it is a dice game morning. You will need a strong chair. You need, uh, I'm working with very sophisticated equipment, two cans of beans, which are currently way over there. And two gallons of water. The beans weigh about a pound and the gallon of water weighs eight pounds. However, if you're someone who's moving up in your weights, please do. So remember you could have twos, threes, fours, fives. I don't think they make fours very much. And then you could have eights, tens, twelves, fifteens, twenties. In general, if you're somebody getting up over 20 pounds in each hand, uh, yeah, I could definitely make it harder for you, but I'm gearing towards beginners and seniors who want to feel successful and honestly you don't have to do a lot to feel really good in your body you just have to be consistent it's not about how terribly hard or demanding the workout is I hope everyone will pass this on to their friends because so many people misunderstand how impactful personal training and strength training can be if you would just do it consistently okay so we're gonna do dice so let's let's kick our butt and warm up I'm gonna actually uh, use running over to get my two cans as a warm up. So I'm running over, mm -hmm. okay, to the back of the Zoom room and then back to the middle of the Zoom room. Hey, Zoom rooms, new terms. All right, so we got our cans and we're not doing a lot of upper body, but still, you know, we're gonna warm up these shoulders because I think it feels good and I think it helps with posture and right now a lot of people hey Kelly a lot of people are sitting in front of their computers a lot and I hope when you're doing that that you really thank you someone's delivering water love that um, I hope if you're sitting in front of your computer a lot and I apologize if I'm not explaining this this is co video 62 so hopefully if you found me you're getting used to this shoulder warm-up uh, but I will explain it as I go, and I help, I think, so the first one is this, right? Right, we do 10 of those, and then we go behind our head. If you sit at a computer a lot, this is a great thing to do every day to help prevent you from getting rounded shoulders. So I press up, do 10 of those, and I go behind my head about 10 of those. Then I come down here and I do little twists with my arms, right? You can see where I twist the can because I'm warming up the joint inside my shoulder, right? And as I'm doing this, as we do this together, we're pushing our chest out a little bit, but I'm not arching my back overly arching. I'm just standing tall or if you're in a chair, you're seated tall, right? You're not slumped over. All right, now I'm gonna pour out. This is what I say if you have the urge to drink high fructose corn syrup, highly sugar-fried, highly processed, what we fondly call soda or pop in the United States of America, I would like you to just open it up and pour it out on your clothing. Yes, don't put it in your mouth, please. Okay, yes. There are healthier, cleaner versions of that treat and you need to make sure you drink enough water. Please do not tr attempt to use those type of sugar-fied liquid calories to quench your thirst. Not a good idea, okay? There's not a payoff for that. 
So see, I'm alternating. Yeah, you can do these every day if you're nice and gentle with the cans, this, this type of shoulder. But definitely every other day is fine. But I've done it five days a week for, whoo, at this point, 10, 15 years. Because these are the therapeutic movements that help me heal from two very serious shoulder injuries. All right, and my shoulders are good. I love it. No surgery. Yay! And just got to keep moving, really, is the advice. Keep going, my father says, who's 92. Keep going. What's your advice for people, Dad? Keep going. Man of many words. There you go. So see how I'm pouring it out now like this? Okay. Like this. Now, of course, if your shoulders are very, very sore for some reason, this gentle movement might not feel that good, but it might also move that soreness out of the muscles. Sharp pain always means stop. Tingling, buzzing, knife stabbing pain. Please stop what you're doing and seek the advice of a licensed healthcare professional. Yes. Here we go. So we go like this and we're up and we're down. So we're going to pour out all the obstacles to feeling our best and being committed to taking loving good care of ourselves and celebrate with a big arm sweep. Out with the obstacles to understanding I am awesome. Okay, so we're pouring out that movement right there coming. Notice how my arms are almost straight. What tends to happen is people want to bend their arms and then kind of fling them up like that. But it's actually a gentle front raise, you see? Right there. And that's one reason I like the cans or no more than three pounds for this exercise. Also, honestly, to get the benefits of this gentle little shoulder movement, as that's why we're doing it today, even though we don't have a lot of upper body, you don't need any weights at all. You could be out in the park and decide, I'm going to just do a little therapeutic movement with my shoulders. Awesome. All right, right here, last movement. We're going to roll it over like this. Notice how my Upper arms are parallel to the ground. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. It doesn't matter what day it is. It doesn't matter what time of the day is. What matters is you are working out. And that takes commitment and self-love. And I'm all about that. Okay, don't be afraid of the C word. Here we go. All right. Boom. Okay, we're done with the cans. And we're going to jog in place a little bit. Or just march in place. Because mm -mm. we got to warm up those legs. Dun, dun. La, 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 la. I'm going to adjust my camera, my phone. I mean, what should we call these here? Yeah. What should we call them? I don't know. My, my handheld computer. That's what it really is. All right. So, um, so let's just kick our butt. Let's focus on that warm up. Mm -mm. And we're just kind of, this is a ballistic stretch of the uh, quadricep. If you're someone who knows you're, you're attempting to do these in a chair, mostly because of conditions with your hips or your knees or your ankles, but you know you got to get moving, you could just be sitting in the chair and just picking those legs up. Just pick those legs up. Okay, we'll even do that right now. This is called the zombie kick or Frankensteins, right? Like this. Kicking up, kicking up. Mm -mm. Uh, 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 uh. Kicking up, kicking up. If you're um, enjoying working out with me, and, but you do like music, you could put a little of your own music in the background. Yes, because why would you do that? Because you don't have to pay for it. You don't have to get a license. It's, it could be on your radio, right? All right, so next exercise to warm up, just a little bitty squat, kick your leg out to the side, and then alternate. Yes, so what we're really doing is getting these hips warmed up, and we're not doing a deep squat because we're not warm enough yet. And this is a dice game. So who knows what the universe is going to make us do. I have six exercises. And then some bonus exercises with that. Depending on what the dice say. Let them dictate. And it is focused on balance and leg strength today. Mm-hmm. So I apologize if your legs are Still sore, but really the dice game will help move that soreness out of your body as well as drinking plenty of water. Okay, let's do 10 jumping jacks. Let's be really strict and serious about it. You ready? All right, here we go. And remember, you can step jack as well. 10 of them. One, two, three. This is stepping. Four or jumping. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Okay, now let's do a happy jack. Don't be very serious. Here we go. Big smile. One. Pick that leg up. Two. Lean towards the leg. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I'm happy. Eight. Nine. Ten. You win. All right. Now remember goofy jacks. How could you forget? What do they look like? Anything you want, but you got to clap your hands. Okay. Ready? Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. You don't have to jump. Six. Seven. Just pick that leg up. Eight. Nine. And ten. Yeah. Be goofy. It's very important. Raises all these fun biochemical hormones in your body and your brain and you can have a good time working out. All right, so with a dice game or a card game, what I've started to do is let's go through the exercises so you have your explanation and then we'll start rolling the dice or flipping the cards. Okay, so the first one is uh, your favorite, number one, the burpee. Oh, I can hear the groans from here. All right, chair burpee. Everybody can do it. I don't care who you are, right? You just stand at the chair you squat down, putting your hands on the seat of the chair. Step back into a chair plank. Step back up into the squat. Come up on your toes. Big arm sweep. That's a burpee. That's a chair burpee. Okay, other burpee. Squat down. Step back. Step up into that squat. Little jump. Clap your hands. And then, of course, if you're like, I love you, Cam, I'm really fit, how do I make it harder? You squat down, you jump back, do a little push-up, jump up. Okay, so everybody can do burpees. Let's do five chair burpees for a warm-up. So we come down, step back, step up, that's one. Yep, time to get going. Step back, step up, two. Now you could thrust back and thrust up from the chair, but you've got to bend your legs. Some people are doing it more like a pike with your butt in the air. Don't do that. Let's do a couple more. Jump back, jump up, big arm sweep. Jump back, jump up, big arm sweep. And you can always step back. Remember this is live, but if you're watching as a recording, you can hit pause live. You need a break, get some water and catch up, come back. Okay, balance lunges. These are very, very important. A true balance lunge, your foot will be on a chair. You could just put it behind you on the ground, lightly touching your toe. So if I'm up in the chair, if I want it more strenuous, I have weights in my hands, we're using this as a warm up. So all I want you to do right now is put your leg back on the chair and just do tiny little, just bend that knee a little bit. If you're a senior, like I have people doing this that are in their 80s. Yes, I know, every single video. So remember, if you just balance, you don't even have to do the bending part of the knee, though you do want it soft. There's a huge benefit to that, right? But I do want people to just bend that knee softly. If you're more fit, you develop that strength you wanted, then you're going to come down lower. So switch legs. We're just doing five to six. We're doing, we're in warm-up mode. That's why we're just going through these motions, getting the movement in our body so we have a more enjoyable, more effective workout. Yes. And we can say to people, I'm balanced. They don't have to understand the whole thing. They'll be like, yeah, sure you are. Okay, the other one is a pogo squat. <laughs> pogo squat. Okay, so this is kind of a hard balance one, but you could, you could hold your chair, touch your chair, you put one leg in the air, and you squat down on the one leg. That's, that's as simple as that. Some people call them, there's pistol squats and stuff like that. Okay, let's say um, that just feels like you can't hardly do it. It's okay, just bend your knee. Let's do that right now. See if you can not touch the chair. You just got one leg up and you're just squatting down on one leg. Yeah, that's a pogo squat, like a pogo stick, right? One leg, right? Now, if you're, if you're crazy fit, jump in the air, jump in the air. Uh, Please don't fall onto your coffee table or jump onto a kitten or something like that. Other leg, here we go. Just, we're warming up still. Everybody's in a hurry to get going. You gotta, you gotta say, okay, I'm gonna do this correctly. I'm gonna warm up, get the movements into my body, figure out what I'm doing, and then I'm gonna give it my best for X amount of minutes, and then I'm gonna cool down, and then I'm gonna sleep good, drink plenty of water, and eat plenty of protein, because I love my body. 
is the vehicle of my life. All right, your body's the Maserati in your garage of life. That's right. Okay, so that was the balance lunge and the pogo squats and the burpees. The fourth one is chair touches. Okay, chair touches. So one of my favorite, honestly, it's one of my favorite exercises. So I'm in front of my chair, I touch it, come back up. When I come back up, I'm gonna squeeze my glutes. And actually, let's, I'm gonna do a different variation. We're gonna come down, touch the chair, and just come up two to four inches. Oh, yeah, there you go. So you're keeping all that force. Chair touches, touch the chair, touch the chair, lightly touch. Now the reason I showed initially is just sit, what I call sit and stand, is because some folks, when they're down low and they're trying to crank that pressure into their quads, they feel it in their knees. So if you're someone that, oh my God, Cam, that just hurts my knees too much, then I don't want you to do this low one. I just want you to touch and stand. Touch and stand, because that'll take the pressure off your knees. But if you can handle it, stay low. We're just gonna touch our chair like that. Yay, and if it's too easy, add weight. Pick up those gallons of water. Okay, chair side leg lift. And we did part of this on the last leg workout. Is you're on your toes, and you're leaning forward because I'm working on gluteus minimus. And we just swing our legs up, okay? And we're just gonna alternate. For, it's a little more fun, it's kind of like a happy jack, right? So we'll do that, and then when we get that one, we're gonna add the happy jack. So no matter what, if we get 10 of those, we're gonna do 10 chair leg lifts, alternating, and 10 happy jacks. Yes! Okay, the next one is called the pillow squeeze. So you need a pillow or a ball. It doesn't really work without that. So I have a square, nice square, firm pillow. And I'm sitting in my chair. And I'm going to put that pillow between my knees. And it's, I'm going to squeeze it as hard as I can. So if you have a pillow that you feel your knees hit, then it's not enough pillow. I'm folding mine in half. And we're just going to stand here and squeeze that pillow as tight as we can. This is such an important exercise. It's for the inside of your thighs. There's long, thin muscles in there, and they're very important for your knee health. And it's, other than sumo squats, it's hard to isolate those inner thigh muscles. So that's what we're doing. So just do a few. Right now we're just doing them to warm up. You're not overly squeezing. All right, you could put a playground ball. If you've gone out to the grocery store or someone's shopping for you, get them to buy you one of those kids' balls. They run about $1.50. And, uh, or order a playground ball online. All right, are we ready? I'm ready. Okay, well, there's a couple more. If uh, we're going to add, if, if the numbers I throw are odd, and this may not work because my brain starts to fail, we're going to do calf raises, all right? Calf raises. Yeah, let's add a side raise for fun, right? Calf raises, because that's a very big muscle. We don't work them out a lot, and we'll touch on those. And then who knows what might happen. We might do invisible jump rope, freestyle, whatever my brain comes up with. Are you ready? Say yes. Yes, I'm ready. All right. We just warmed up. I've been talking a little bit. We are ready to go. Uh, okay, sip of water. Ready to go. Let's go. Okay, we're doing number two, balance lunges, nine of them. So I have my chair. I could just put my toe on the ground behind me. I'm putting my foot in the chair. I'm not going to pick up weights yet because we're just getting going, and we're going to come down in that balance lunge, keeping the chest up. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. This workout is brought to you by the universe. The roll of the dice, other leg. All right, putting that foot back. There we go. One, two, three, four. Make sure you're sitting back towards the chair. Five or straight down, don't lean forward. Six, seven, eight and nine good okay we're gonna roll the dice again absolutely here we go what do we got next what do we got one 
Okay, number five, which is the chair side leg lifts. Five reps. Okay, so we're like this. So actually, we're going to do five on each side. Five on each side. So I'm, I'm in table. I'm on my toes. Here we go. Swing it up. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Five happy jacks. Ready to go. One, two, three. Clap your hands. Four, five. Yes. So yes, today's workout is brought to you by your knees and hips. Your knee and hip help. It's so important. So important. Okay. I did roll them even, so I have to remember to add some of the bonus. We have eight reps of number three, pogo squats. And I didn't mention if you, I know you have a chair in your house, come on. But if you didn't, you can also do that 80-20s, 80% on one leg, 20% on the other. But I'm going to lightly touch my chair, attempt not to touch my chair. I'm on one leg, and here we go. Eight reps, one leg, ready, go. One, even if you bend a little bit. Two, three, four, five, six, I got this. Seven, how you doing out there? Eight, oh my gosh, right now you definitely gotta balance your life with movement, not just sitting still, movement and taking care of family, keeping yourself safe out there. Other leg, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, to make it easier, you touch the chair. To make it harder, you can come up on your tippy toe, or you could jump like a pogo stick on one leg. Yes, you could do that. You're happy. Please just, you know, watch out for televisions, other people in the room, things like that. You know, the person in the room laying on the couch going, I don't know why you're doing this all the time. And you tell them, because it feels good. Roll the dice. All right, I know I forgot my calf raises there. We'll do that, and then we'll see what the dice just said. All right, so I had doubles, fours. So we're going to do a calf raise, right? And I'm just going to raise my arms like that, coming up on my calves. My glutes are very tight. I just did a couple, but let's start and do eight. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, way up, squeeze everything, seven, one more, and eight. One reason I like dice and cards is I don't have to think about it. I just want to keep moving and having fun while I'm taking care of my body. Okay. Oh, I threw an even number again. So this is six reps of the balance lunges. So I have my chair. I put one of my feet, one of my toes in the chair. And I'm my feet are apart, right? I'm up tall. Here we go. Six reps. One two, three, four, five, and six. And when you, when you have these low number reps, you have a couple of choices. You can add weight, but you can also say, I'm only doing six. I'm going to do them the best that I can. Really, that attitude should be there all the time, but it's an advantage of not pushing to your fatigue, like 20 reps, right? Here we go, six reps. Quality of movement. One, think quality. Two, I love my body, think that. Three, I love my body. Four, thank you for being here for me, body. Five, thank you for being healthy. One more. Six, good. Now just stand tall, squeeze your glutes as tight as you can, go for the butt cramp, and up on your calves. One, two, three, don't rock back on your calves. Four, on your heels. Five and six. Good. Okay, a little bonus movement there. Woo! Let's roll these dice, get this party started. Okay, four reps. Number five, which is the chair side leg lift. All right. And you could do this from the ground, but I really do prefer the chair with the straight leg right now. Ready, five on each side. One, two, squeeze it up. Three, four, 
five, other side, one, on your toes, two, tippy toes, three, four, five, and five, happy jacks, get happy, one, two, three, four, five, that's it, good, you did it, all right, all right, I'm rolling, number five, again, same thing, four reps, do it again, hands on the chair, ready, one, pick a leg, two, same leg, three, all the way up, four, quality of movement, one, don't rush, two, three, four, with four happy jacks, pick that leg up, one, lean towards it, two, three, four, now what I like is the dice made us do it back to back, got a little burn in my hips, love that, learn to burn baby, learn to burn, Oh, oh, number one, burpees. <laughs> eight reps, eight reps. All right, remember, I'm gonna actually do the chair burpees because I want everybody to understand you can do burpees and so make sure you brag to everybody that you did burpees today. All right, here we go, eight reps. Squat down to that chair, step back into plank, get back up in that squat position, up on your toes. Here we go, that's one. And two, you have this. Do a good plank when you step back. Three, all right, and four. You could also be jumping down to the ground, whatever your fitness level is. Five, step back in that plank. Bend those knees up to that chair. Six, we're going to eight. Seven, step back, step back, step up, step up. Eight, all right. Okay, now of course I'll go to the big burpee soon, but I want you to do chair burpees. Don't pass, don't pass. All right, number four, chair touches. Ooh, 10 of them. Okay, so remember, remember in the beginning, the chair touches, are you gonna come down in like almost an air squat, you're just gonna hold it and touch that chair, and we're just gonna touch that chair a few times. However, if that hurts your knees too much, I want you to just sit down, Stand up, okay? Here we go. This is 10 of these. Real low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So what you're practicing is not just, have you ever seen, or maybe this happens to you, you go to sit down, you just kind of fall at the end of the movement. Please do your best to stop doing that because when you're falling, you're releasing the connection of your brain to your muscles that gravity's taking you. So the chair touches are to get you more powerful in that last two to four inches right before you sit down. I don't care who you are, what age you are, please do your best not to fall onto your chairs. Okay, good job. Woo. Rolling, rolling. Number four again, chair touches. Only three of them, so we'll do them in slow motion. Coming down, slow, slow. Barely touch the chair, barely touch the chair. Come up just a few inches, that's one. Coming down, coming down. See, the universe wanted to come right back to this. See, the universe is an awesome trainer. Up, oh, that's two, I'm coming down right here at the bottom. I'm hovering over my chair, barely touching the chair, coming back up about four inches, coming all the way up, because that was number three. I hope you got to understand whether you're strong there or not, if you're not, let's work on that. Okay, that's what I'm here for, to help you feel stronger. Number five, chair side leg lift. 10 reps, 10. Hands in the seat of the chair. I'm on my toes. I've got a nice arch in my back. Ready, go, side leg. One, two, don't rush. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, squeeze it up, nine, ten. Now when I'm doing this, I tend to relax my abs, but really you should, you should tighten your abs right now. Okay, let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, lift and lower, six, don't kick and fall, seven, Eight, nine, ten. 
Okay, standing tall, big smile, 10 happy jacks. Don't kick your chair. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hey, Lynn, what's up? I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much for joining me. All of you mean the world to me for being here. Please encourage other people to get moving. It lifts their mood, keeps them happier, and hello, it boosts your immunity. Hello. Get more oxygen in the brain. Number one, burpees. All right, so I'm going to go to the next version of burpees, which is the chair, but I'm going to be thrusting, which means I'm going to kick back, okay? All right, so you do your fitness level. Nine reps. Ready, go. And one, make sure you come up on your toes. Two, make sure you have arm sweep. Three, and four, five, six, seven, nice, eight, one more, and nine. I told you you could do burpees. I, I so believe in you, yes I do, yes I do. Number five, the universe wants us to work on these glutes. Okay, so five reps, right? Gluteus minimus runs parallel to the ground in your butt. Very important for hip and knee health. All right, so I'm in table position using the chair. Nice arch, five reps on each side. Ready, go. One, squeeze it up. Two, lower it down slowly. Three, four, five, other side. We're gonna get these hips stronger. One, two, strong hips. Three, four, and it actually does help the bone get more dense. Five, okay, happy jacks. Anytime you contract your muscles hard, it helps your muscles. I mean, it helps your bones, yes, and your muscles. Ready, go. One, happy jacks. Two, go in the five. Three, I'm happy. Four, and five. You gotta clap your hands. Yep, wake up your house. I mean, everybody, everybody needs to be awake. All right, awake. Hey, the universe wants this. Number five, we're doing these again. Go back to the other side, seven reps. Side leg lift from the chair, seven reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other side. Do not just let your leg fall. You want to lower it with control. One, two, three, four. Relax your shoulders. Five, six, lowering it down. Seven. All right. Seven happy jacks. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I always want to turn them into Goofy Jacks. Goofy Jacks are just for biochemicals that make you really happy. So you do Goofy Jacks anytime you want, anywhere you want. Okay. There we go. Let's roll. Let's roll. What are we going to get? Boom. Number six. First time doing that. It's the pillow squeeze. And it's 11 reps. So... If you're someone super fit, you may find the pillow squeeze isn't that difficult, but I encourage you to get more pillow and squeeze them harder. But you could do a weighted sumo squat, but I think it's important to isolate. So we've got a pillow, we're seated, we're seated tall, and we're gonna squeeze that pillow absolutely as hard as we can, release a little bit, and squeeze it absolutely as hard as we can again. This is 11 reps, so here we go, squeezing hard, that's one, release a little bit, two, releasing a little bit, three, you never quite take the tension off of it, four, five, six, so it's how much pressure can you create with your own muscles, right? Seven, squeezing it, eight, Nine, squeezing it harder. Come on, intensify it. 10, and we're gonna hold on 11. So squeeze it, hold, squeeze it as tight as you can. Do not release, counting down from 10. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. I got a burn. That's amazing. It's really about your intensity and your focus. All right, here we go. You know what? Let's get a sip of water. We've been going and I think it's a good time to get some water in this mouth. So when I play the cards or I roll the dice, we generally do, depending on the day, depending on the exercise, is 20 to 30 minutes. So today we're going about 30 minutes. That is not counting the warm-up and the explanation. So if you know what you're doing and you're warm, you can go right to when I start rolling the die. Okay. Number five. The universe loves this exercise. Okay. We're on the chair. I'm going to change my angle a little bit so you can see it a little different. Okay, hands in the seat of the chair, and we're doing seven reps, one leg at a time. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, and now seven happy jacks. Are you ready? Clap your hands. One, whoa, that was loud. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So when remember, happy jacks, they look easy, they are, they're fun, you shouldn't think about them too much, but I am squeezing my abs and doing a C-curve as I lift that leg towards that leg, as I lift it up. So I'm actually doing like a crunch in my abs so I get more bang for my book. Right? Bang for my movement. Okay, blow on the dice, blow on the dice. Okay, all right, good. What are we doing? Two! That's the balance lunges. All right, so I'm going to intensify mine by picking up my gallons of water so that just adds 16 pounds to the movement. If I set a gallon down, there'll be more balance impact, less weight. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab two, get my foot back on the chair carefully. We're doing seven high quality focus on quality movement reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. I'm trying to get down into that leg. Six, not leaning forward. Seven, very important. One more. Oh, well, okay, one more for bonus. Eight. I rolled a seven. All right, switching legs. I'm going to switch my angle so you can see this a little differently. All right, other leg goes forward. Other leg goes back. I rolled a seven, but we'll have to do an eight because we want it to be even. Here we go. One. Don't overthink this. Just have fun working out. Two. And stay focused. Three. Ooh, I can feel that balance. Four, try to relax your back leg. I know it's hard, but that's what you need to do. Seven, I think. Oh, and eight for the bonus. All righty. I rolled a one, burpees, and it's four. So I'm going to do it without a chair. Please use the chair for the burpees. Four burpees. Awesome. All right, we're going to roll about three more times and then we're done with this workout. This went fast. Okay, four burpees. You ready? And go. One, two, three, and four. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Good job. So proud of you. All right. Maybe we'll roll about four more times. Who knows? Okay, number three. Number three. That's the pogo squats. And we're doing eight reps. And trust me, very important. You have people out there that just, they don't think they have time to work out. What they do not understand is if they would do 15 to 20 minutes every other day. I am creating shorter and easier workouts, but even these workouts, rolling the dice, it'd be tremendous impact. 
Doing nothing is nothing. Doing something has incredible impact. Okay, pogo sticks, eight reps. I'm not, not gonna touch the chair, but it's here if I need it. Ready, go. One, two, three. I used to love the pogo stick. Four, last time I saw one, I could still do it, it was crazy. Five, of course, one time I got on one, it was too, I was actually, it was too small. <laughs> it really worked. Okay, I think that's a five. Go in the eight. Six. Uh, seven. And eight. Okay. Other side. Remember, if you're super fit, having a good time today, you can jump in the air with these. Here we go. One. You can also try to come up on your toe. Two, which makes it harder. Three. Bend that leg, four, five, uh, six, keep it slow on the way down, seven, one more, and eight. Yes, good job, good job, good job. Okay, we're gonna roll it, roll the dice three more times, three more times, I'm having fun, so I don't wanna stop. Okay, but the thing about dice and cards too is you're doing more than you realize, faster than you realize, so you don't wanna overdo it either. You want to end on high note number four, which is the chair touches. Six of them. Yeah, we're going to do them slow too. Okay, so I go to sit down, right? I just sit down. But are you falling down? Hopefully not. So chair touch as you come out of the chair a little bit, barely touch the chair. Here we go. You ready? One. Keep it slow. Two. Three. Four, five, don't sit on that chair, just touch it. Six, now let's say you were like, that was really easy, yay. Okay, so if it comes up here before we quit, we got three more rolls, I keep saying that. Then we're gonna add weight, see if it's easy then, yeah. All right, here we go, rolling, 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 rolling. Ha <laughs> ha, I rolled a four, that's the chair touches. That's hilarious, see, the universe is listening, have no doubt. 10 reps. Okay. Oh, I'm going to hold 16 pounds. 10 slow reps. So where do you hold them? I'm going to hold them up here. Okay, here we go. So air squat down. Barely touch the chair. 10 reps. One, two, three. Don't sit on that chair. Four. Only come up about four inches. Five, six, Seven. Oh yeah, I made a difference. Eight. Nine. One more. Slowly. Ten. Excellent. Did the 16 pounds make a difference? Yes, it did. Sure did. Okay. All right. Two more rolls. Two more rolls. Change my story. Okay. There you go. Boom. <laughs> Number four, which is the chair touches. Seven reps. Grabbing the 16 pounds back. Here we go. Let's get it going on. Nice ending. Here we go. Barely touch that chair. Come up a couple inches. One. Remember, if it's really hurting your knees, just stand all the way up. Two. Do sit and stands. Three. Four. Going to seven. Keep it slow. Five. Six. One more. Seven. Now just hover right there over the chair. No, don't sit down. Come on, four inches off the air, just stay there. Come on, come on, get there, get there. Hold it, hold it, squeeze your butt. Okay, you're done. That burned a little, yeah, or a lot. Oh, I have a warped sense of what feels good, trust me. All right, number five, which is the chair side leg lift with the happy, happy, happy jacks. All right, so I've got my hands in the seat of the chair. We're doing six on each side, one, Two, three, four, five. I'm rushing it. Don't rush. And six. Yeah. Woo. Okay, here we go. Nope. It's just, yeah, six. Okay, ready. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Good. Okay, six happy jacks. Don't forget about your chair. Don't kick it. Ready, go. One, two, squeeze your abs. Three, 
four, clap your hands, five, one more, six, yes. Okay, we're gonna do one more roll. One more roll, mwah, mwah. Thank you for being here. Number one, I love it, with burpees. 11 of these. This is our finish, okay? Please use the chair if you need to. You are a awesome, successful person. Set yourself up for success. 11 burpees for the finish. Ready, go. One, two, don't put your hands in your fan. Three, in your ceiling fan. Four, five, six, go until 11. Seven, yes, eight, come on, nine, one more, no, two more. Here's 10, one more, and 11, yay, you did it. Man, those dice workouts go by fast. That's so good, so good, thank you for being here, yes. All right, we gotta cool down, cool down. Hopefully you feel your heart rate up. Hopefully your brain is just cleared out. Got rid of all that fog where I am. We're gonna have lots of rain for the next 24 hours. Oh, okay, we're just moving these arms back and forth. Okay, let's just turn like this. Turn like this, just let. We gotta integrate the workout into our body. Let our heart rate come down. Let our let our, there's some fancy word for how often you're breathing. Let that, your respiration, that's the word I think. Let it come down. Thank you so much. Please share this with other folks. I really want people to understand. Yes, eventually I'll be asking for support, you know, because we're all trying to figure that out right now, financial support, but really, this is my gift to the world, the way I hug the world, so that you can feel better. And believe me, it only takes, some people feel better after one workout, if they'll just do it at the level they need to. If they feel totally different, they get it. They're like, oh, that's why I need to do this. Okay, we're gonna put a foot up on the chair, all right? So I have the chair here, put my foot up, and I'm leaning down across the chair. However, strength-wise, cognitive connection can happen immediately. You can strengthen that in the workout. Muscle strength, definitely improves. I, I feel very strongly, two sessions, four weeks, you will feel a difference in how you are moving about in the world. Three months, at least two a week, three is better, it'll be dramatic. You'll never go backwards. You'll be like, I want that, I love this, I'm gonna keep it, right? And then it motivates you, that's where your motivation and your discipline is doing it now when you don't have that reinforcement yet. So you just, discipline is just doing it because you're not motivated, right? You, you are, whoever's listening to me, as long as you're not sitting there watching me, you're actually doing it. Other leg, by the way. All right. So you have to do it enough, which is eight to 12 times a month for one month. After three months, you're in, you're there. But we gotta get one month done and then you get that feeling that reinforces your desire to keep going. All right? Everybody says, well, I'm just not motivated. Well, you can't. Motivation doesn't come to after you have the discipline to do it. And that's what I'm here for, hopefully to make it fun. Okay, so I have my chair, and I'm going to reach down. We did this stretch the other day, and I'm stretching my quad. Okay? So let's say you're somebody, this positioning just doesn't work. Let's go to the chair. Hold that position if it works for you. And let's push a leg back off the side and drop the knee down. So right there, you might feel that stretch. It depends on who you are, right? So we'll hold this positioning using the chair. Please don't fall off the chair. All right, switch to the other leg. So if you're standing, stretching the quad, just switch feet. And right here, I'm not pushing the leg back hard. I'm just dropping the knee down to the ground. You really, range of motion in the joints is part of the fitness quotient or the equation. Ugh, math terms, yay. You know, I start my day every day with astrophysics. I watch a little video magazine ev almost every day for the last over a year and a half. 
So I'm always got the sun on my mind and solar systems and nebulas and the weather systems on planet Earth and how they interact with the sun. Yeah, too much information, I know. But it is a hobby that I really enjoy because it really stimulates my brain incredibly because sometimes they'll have a video magazine and I'll go, I, I absolutely understand nothing they just said and I have to do my homework and figure it out. Yeah, nice feeling. Okay, we're seated on the chair, all right? And now we're gonna slide back to the other side if you're on the chair and you're gonna extend that leg back further. So what we're trying, we wanna do is open this hip. That's so important. We really did a lot of work on the hip. Open it, I'm sitting up tall. The universe really wanted to focus on our gluteus minimus. Okay, now that same leg, same leg, bring it forward and cross it like this. If you have a hip replacement here, don't do this, just do something else, but don't do this. And push down on this knee, all right? And I want you to feel it right in that hip. And then if your leg is down because you have issues with this hip, then we, everyone, even if your leg is down, you're gonna lean forward, right? That's gonna help stretch the lower back, release the back. The back's always in play during exercise because, and that's why I always cue you to keep tightening your abs. Oh, thank you so much for being here. I know I say that a lot, you know why? Because I mean it, I really, really mean it. Put the other leg straight back. And I think one reason I'm doing these live videos and posting them on YouTube is most people don't have a relationship with the person on the video, exercise video. There's just a polished, highly produced, I'm sure many, many excellent material out there, but I'm hoping that you get a feeling that I'm here with you, that I care about you, and I want you to be successful, and I want to have a relationship with you. So that's why I'm always going to give you cues and talk to you about you know, drinking more water and eating well and just loving yourself. All right, and that motivates me to keep taking care of myself and be a living, loving example of the life I want you to live, the healthier, happier life. All right, I got this back now. That same leg that we pushed back just now, opening this hip, we're gonna bring it forward and put it on our leg like this and push down on that knee. All right, thank you for taking the time to cool down. It's very important, all right? We don't always do that. I have a little more time when I do the dice and cards. Now, even if this leg is down, because remember, don't, I've been told, if you have a hip replacement, don't put your leg in this position. Now, if it's up or if it's down, just lean forward. And you should, I feel that right in my glute on the upside leg. That's what I want you to feel. And don't just bow your back. Lean forward. Yes. Very good. Very good. Hold it. Take a deep breath. <sighs> okay. So we're standing, hands on our hips. And you're gonna roll your hips around, roll your hips around, other side or other direction. <laughs> I don't know if there's a side to the hips. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, let's breathe together. Thank you for joining me. Let's breathe in some love, exhale some love. Do that all the time. Watch what happens. We'll transfigure the world with love. Big inhale up. <sighs> yes, let's do it again. Ah, one more. Ah, thank you again. I love you. Take loving, good care of yourself. If it's a weekend for you, have a great one. It doesn't matter. Have a great day. No matter what time of day it is, no matter where you are in the world, understand how awesome you are. And I love you and I'll see you soon.